looking at both of this type of genome sequencing methods. Now this is called the small DNA sequencing or Sanger method of DNA sequencing. If you want to know more about Sanger sequencing, you can go uh, to my YouTube channel. You will find a separate video on how Sanger sequencing works. But here it is a summary for you. So here we are having this uh, DNA strand, and this is the sequence we need. This is the strand we need to be sequenced. So what we need to do, we need to prepare uh, the primers for the replication. So what we'll do, what we'll produce, we produce primers, which are short segment of oligonucleotide sequences, and the primers that will be produced uh, by adding simply four different type of uh, nucleotides that is A, G, T and C. In four different uh, test tubes, in four different vials, what we will be taking in, in this vial, first vial what we take is C. Now this, these, are, these are the modified version of bases. We all know that the DNA is made up with these four types of bases, C, G, A and T. Now what we need to do, we need to prepare reaction mixtures. What we will do in each of these vials, we will provide a modified type of base. For example, in this case, if you provide a modified base which is C, the modification of the base that is carried out here is a type of dideoxytide. Now what we all know is that uh, what we are having a sugar, pentose sugar, and this sugar is attached with base and also it is attached with phosphate. So we are having this... Uh, carbon number 2, carbon number 1, this carbon number 3 so it is attached with the phosphate uh, via this carbon number 3 and also carbon number 5 it is attached with another phosphate okay carbon number 1 is helping them to be attached with the bases and carbon number 2 is the place to designate whether it is a deoxidibose sugar or a ribose sugar now for a ribose sugar here it is a hydroxyl group at the bottom and the top is uh, hydrogen but in case of uh, deoxidibose there is a uh, the, this oxygen is not present in case of deoxidibose so you get only hydrogen there now dideoxy means in those cases what we have we have a one hydrogen at the second prime a second carbon and also hydrogen at the third carbon so we are having uh, two uh, regions with uh, di uh, two uh, two places of carbon which is attached to only hydrogen not hydroxyl so that's why it is called di means two deoxy so deletion of oxygen. So deletion of oxygen taken place in the two different regions in this kind of uh, sugars. So we'll take this kind of modified sugars or modified bases attached with sugars and we'll add them into each of this mix. So in this mix what we provide, we provide all the normal type of uh, A, G, T and C different types and also we provide normal type of A, T and G but we provide uh, C, all the C are modified here. Now in the second batch, we are giving them A, C and G, all uh, S, C and T, all of them are normal, but we only provide G which are modified. In this base, in this particular vial, we provide G, C and T, a normal type of nucleotide and modified A. So in each of the vial, we provide one modified type and rest of the three normal type. So what we'll be doing, we'll be carrying out the, this experiment. We'll be providing this DNA in each of these vials, right? With the strand to be synthesized, we provide this strand in each of these vials along with one modified basis altogether with uh, three different types of normal kind of bases. Then what will happen, we allow them to be uh, polymerized. So all of these nucleotide sequences will be polymerized together to get a chain. Okay, so when we get a chain and uh, the important factor about this uh, dideoxy uh, type of uh, basis is that this basis will terminate elongation or polymerization process. Now what is a simple kind of polymerization that we all know is that we are having uh, a base uh, here so we are having a sugar and uh, so say this is a nucleotide sequence and this nucleotide sequence is having three phosphate group three phosphate groups and also one hydroxyl group okay and if we look at uh, existing chain, if you look at an existing chain, so suppose this is the existing chain, so it's the existing chain of DNA, it must have a 3 prime hydroxyl group. So we know that elongation happens from 5 prime to 3 prime. So here it is, it's a 5 prime to 3 prime in this direction. So 3 prime is having a hydroxyl group, but here it is an upcoming new nucleotide base. It is having 3 prime uh, phosphate, which is a triple phosphate uh, or triphosphate and one uh, 5 prime triphosphate and a 3 prime hydroxyl also. Now what we will do, the interaction is always happening between the existing 3 prime hydroxyl and a new 5 prime phosphate. So this is a 5 prime phosphate. So the attachment will be uh, carried out by these two groups and as a result what will happen, inorganic phosphate, 
so pyrophosphate or ppi is released outside and also water is released and a result of that uh, pyrophosphate is released and as a result it is attached one phosphate and one phosphate are attached with each other so what we get is a link or polymerization between those nucleotide sequences that's how the polymerization is carried out now what will happen if we provide a modified dideoxy base instead of a normal base now here what we are talking about here are talking about the normal base now if you provide a dideoxy base what will happen this base is instead of having any kind of hydroxyl this kind of open hydroxyl it is having only hydrogen so as a result of that the further or future nucleotide sequence are not able to bind with this particular nucleotide so it will terminate the whole polymerization process because we know once this nu new nucleotide sequence are attached with the existing one this will be the terminal part this will be the 3 prime hydroxyl but in this case this hydroxyl is never there instead only we are having hydrogen instead of hydroxyl so here after uh, this first uh, attachment of this modified base so this is the modified base after the attachment of this modified base with the existing one we get only 3 prime hydrogen instead of 3 prime hydroxyl so that's why this hydroxyl cannot uh, this hydrogen is not able uh, to bind with the further new coming bases so what will happen this polymerization will be halted or will be uh, stopped in this particular place so that's the actual method or that's the actual basis of all this process is that providing the dideoxy uh, type or modified type of nucleotide base what we are ensuring the termination of the polymerization or termination of the DNA replication now in those uh, cases what we provide a C uh, modified C the only termination that we get uh, is end up with C the case when we provide only only T as the modified base wherever T is inserted during the polymerization it will stop uh, the replication of the DNA right so here we can see this is the primer when you provide only T what it will give us it will give us the truncated type of uh, DNA so it will block the replication of the DNA right so whenever we get T it will stop the synthesis of DNA at that point right so in all these cases we get short segment of DNA sequences all these directions short segments of DNA which is not totally replicating the sequence of our interest so what we get for C we get a different stretch of uh, sequences uh, or length of DNAs for G we are having different length of DNAs for uh, modified A we are having different length of DNA and for T also we are having different length of DNA now what we'll get having this different length of DNA these things uh, now if we run these things in uh, gel electrophoresis or agarose gel uh, agarose gel and we uh, have the electrophoresis technique then what we get a different length of bands now what we'll do we'll take the bands and we'll start to arrange the bands to find the overlapping regions now finding the overlapping regions we'll be arranging those bands and by arranging the, those bands what we get is called a perfect structure then what we can do we'll arrange we'll uh, we'll simply add all those structure to get our desired sequence so that is the actual method of Sanger sequencing but this sequencing remember can only be working for small DNA sequences so that's why it's also called small DNA sequencing okay for large sequences we cannot rely on Sanger sequencing